Hey social media family, it's Kaylee here from Francis Comfort Mobile Homes LLC. Happy New Year! We made it, 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 we made it. Happy New Year guys, we made it to the New Year. It is officially first quarter. Let's be intentional and let's make it count. For today's video, we are going to be doing a success story, a success story featuring a client in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Privacy purposes, we're going to be identifying this client as Mr. Green. Mr. Green, partnerships 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 is a business's favorite friend <laughs> partnerships 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 is a business best friend we have a stellar partnership where we help clients who are getting new homes get rid of their pre-owned homes mr green had bought a new mobile home and he needed to get rid of his pre-owned home. Pre-owned home was in good condition, a 1991 Redmond, three, um, three bedroom, two bath, 16 by 80, and it was in good condition. However, he just had had it for a while and he wanted something new. Mr. Green had reached out to the company where he bought his home from. The company reached out to me and I went out to assess the home I took pictures. I talked to Mr. Green and see what all he wanted to do, expectations and things, and we got the ball rolling. After research and everything on the home, we decided it was a green light for us. Once we got the home in our possession, we marketed a home. The home was in a good location but of course, sometimes when the homes have to be removed, that can always make things shorter or longer. This mobile home was in good condition. However, for it to be moved, it needed to have some construction done on it. And the buyers, of course, they didn't know, but us being experts and already had speaking to our mover, we let them know up front, hey, this is what needs to be done, and they let us know that they had a mover. We get told that quite often, sometimes their mover shows up, and sometimes, a lot of times, their movers do not show up. We recommend you all getting your own mover because you may get a better rate. They may can get you on the schedule faster. It's a lot of variables that go into why we recommend you getting your own mover. However, if you cannot find a mover, of course, we got your back. But that may not come with the price tag that you need for your budget or the timeline. We always do and relay to the movers your expectations and see how we can best meet both in the middle. But that may or may not work all the time. This instance, like I said, their mover did not show up and they had to go with our mover. Me and Mr. Darrell, Mr. Darrell was the one who handled the, the job for this home. We went out early that day and he started working on the belly of the mobile home. The belly was broken and that's a small fix depending on if you have someone that is experienced. And Mr. Darrell was under there for about an hour and before you know it, we were ready to get on the road. And another one in the same day, y'all. We're doing it.
once we pull it out, you see we guys are pulling out right here with the mobile home. I am very excited. I love when these things have to go to a new destination or new location. And it's in the process. It's very exciting because I have Mr. Green. He has his new mobile home already here. But they can't start working on setting up electricity and things like that with two mobile homes on. So Mr. Green was ready for this home to go so they can finish up his new construction on his new mobile home. The buyers, they were a young couple who had just had a baby. So this home was perfect for them. Her father and her brothers, along with her boyfriend at the time, they had planned to remodel this house. And I want to let you guys know that they did just that. I was so surprised that the home looked at nothing like it did when we first started. And they told me like, we're gonna make this home look like it's a $10,000, $15,000 home, but with just a lower price tag. And I always, always, always recommend anybody never had a home before, maybe never even rent it. Start out with something that's used. Um, that way you can learn how to take care of your belongings, you know, keep up with the policies out in your park and learn how to take care of your responsibilities with a lower price tag. Rent is so expensive. I always, 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 always preach to our clients that home ownership is something that we all strive for. And I, that is our mission for all of our clients to come through our door to be homeowners. And we have done just that. It does do us some good to allow you to rent, but we want to make sure that we are preaching home ownership. That way you have, that's yours, it's yours. However, if you need something to rent, you can come on over and we got you as well, but we want you to eventually get to home ownership. That is our goal, our goal. Back to the story. Our clients, new parents, very young, got a home inexpensive, plan to remodel it, but they had a hiccup. Our movers moved it and blocked it for them, but they told us that their mover that they originally had was coming to do the setup. <sighs> That's what they told us in the beginning, and I relayed that to Mr. Duro. With that, guys, if you have a plan, your lot is not all the way ready, you want to try to relay to the mover you initially had and the mover that you are working with that, hey, once my lot is officially ready to be, I got approved for this thing to be set, get it in writing. That's what I would recommend to get it in writing, get everybody on the same accord because you told them one thing and then you come around the next time saying something different that could prolong your process. That was a small hiccup. Fast forward, the home was set. It just took a while. Not our fault, not the buyer's fault, not Mr. Darrow's fault. I don't know whose fault it is, but you know, they just, the buyers did not relay everything that was supposed to from the park. It could have been the park's fault. I'm not exactly sure. We don't want to blame, but it wasn't us. We will say that because we tried to help as best as we could. And the good part about it all, the home was set. Bad part, it just was on those blocks uncovered for a while. The buyers didn't have any problem with that, so that's why it was not a big deal to us. We did check on them multiple times, even drove around there. That's how we got these pictures. i let you guys know in one of our other videos, we love, 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 love speaking to our clients after the success story of the home being sold. We love to see the remodels. The remodels is one of my favorite parts to see all of the different creations and ideas and visions on these homes just making them look brand new it's amazing 
So that wraps up today's video. We had a client featured in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. And I think you might want to know, the home was moved to Shelby, North Carolina. So about 10 to 15 minutes, not too far at all. The home went from a private lot to a park. So it's living, it's living a new life. And um, we're happy that Mr. Green is living in new, his new home. Just, just He's just so excited to be living in his new home. And him and his son is enjoying it. And then we have our new parents they are loving their new home they have a new addition on the way so everyone is satisfied and then we have francis comfort in the middle waiting for you to call us that way we can assist you next if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already to become one of our family members we would love to have you here also if you found any of this information valuable in this video make sure to share this video or this video to someone looking for home solutions my name is kaylee and i'm out see you in the next video guys